Yo, guys, what is going on? I am giving you the inside scoop. I'm showing you my gnawing hunger again. But why? Well, actually, it's because they're getting a big buff in Season 10. If you guys don't know, in the recent weekly update, they went over a bunch of sandbox changes. Things like Lord of Wolves are being addressed. Erentil's getting a little bit of a nerf. Last Word seemingly is getting absolutely butchered. But also, auto rifles are getting quite a bit of a buff. Specifically, the precision frames, the adaptive frames like this, Gnawing Hunger, and the rapid fire frames. Now, I've already done a video on this as recently as last week, and I was basically telling you 600 RPM auto rifles are already good right now, in the sense that it kills in 0.8 seconds, which is the same as spare rations. So, they're already in a good spot, and basically, from next season, the damage numbers are going up. As of right now, it does 13 to the head and 22 to the body. It's going to be going up to 15 to the body and 25 to the head. This is a pretty chunky buff, guys. And the time to kill will drop below 0.8 seconds to somewhere around 0.7 seconds. And when you combine kill clip with that, which is a 30% damage boost, guys, this gun is going to be absolutely disgusting. You're talking like maybe a 0 0.3, 0 0.4 TTK with kill clip active. Throw in weapons of light on top of that. And uh, man, I don't even want to know. Like right now, I think with kill clip and weapons of light, it does 48 to the head. So you're going to be doing 50s to the head with a 600 RPM auto potentially obviously that's sacking two buffs on top of each other but guys the point of the, the video is that this weapon is going to basically be the spare rations of auto rifles in more ways than one first of all it drops from the same encounter the likeness of oryx which is obviously the event that everybody farms in order to get a spare rations it also drops annoying hunger you might even have a god roll annoying hunger sitting in your vault already and you don't know it but if you don't and you want to try out autos because basically next season this archetype of auto rifle is going to kill in you know a time to kill that makes it competitive it genuinely will be competitive but there's obviously caveats to this hand cannons have inherent advantages being able to peek shoot and do big damage with each bullet is just an advantage that auto rifles can't really do anything against so the key little bit of information and the thing that you need to know and remember when you're using an auto rifle is engage with people when they're out in the open. If you see a hunter stood next to a box, don't challenge him because he's going to peek from that box three times and probably kill you. If you catch him out in the open, however, that's where things get different. You catch people off guard in a bad position and auto rifles can really, really punish them. I think that's the key thing to remember when you use an AR, especially in Destiny 2. In other games, auto rifles or assault rifles are genuinely just the best guns you can possibly use. However, in order for them to be flat out the best weapons in D2, the time to kill would have to be absolutely insane. And they even addressed this in the weekly update where they were wanting to say that basically we want to make autos competitive without making the time to kill a little bit too crazy. And that's basically exactly what I was talking about in my video um, last week. So dropping the time to kill ever so slightly down from, you know, 0.8 to 0.7, it's a good change. It's going to make it deadly in the right situation without breaking the game and making the game just a full-on auto rifle meta so the point is guys if you want to be ahead of the curve you want to get the best loot first i mean who knows next season there might be some obviously you'd expect they're going to be new guns introduced and maybe they will come to the forefront but i have a sneaking suspicion that knowing hunger will remain top tier simply because it's you know farmable every two weeks and the perk pool is really really good ricochet rounds tap the trigger kill clip multi-kill clip Zen moment. It's got basically all the best perks you could want on an AR and it has amazing base stats for this archetype of auto rifle. It's not really weak in any area, just like spare rations in the sense that spare rations has great stats, great hidden stats, really high aim assist. Gnawing hunger is no different. It's basically at the top of its archetype for the reasons I just mentioned. Hidden stats, base stats, perk pool, even the sight of the weapon, the feel, the sound. It's a top tier gun. It already is really good next season people will realize that this thing is not to be trifled with and i don't know what <laughs> that tractor cannon from the death by the way i don't know what happened there and even now like obviously the gameplay you're seeing is from today it can compete in the you know in these lobbies oh great nade me i mean that's the best grenade of my career but at least we shut this guy down right i mean yeah we gotta make up for it somehow but yeah it can compete even today but you have to remember what basically what i said you can't challenge someone who's too close to cover. It's, it's kind of a waste of time, especially if they're a hunter. They will shade step out and you won't be able to catch them. But if you really pick your engagements and catch people out in the open, or you know if you're doing something 
kind of funny like this with weapons of light that's where it gets different with weapons of light it does 30 to the head now i'd assume by that calculation it's gonna do like what 33 to the head with weapons of light after the update so it's gonna be really disgusting guys it already is super good to round off the video i've got a raw gameplay of rumble i thought rumble would be a good place to showcase what the gun is capable of right now and then you could maybe get an idea of how it's going to perform after it gets buffed after seeing it in its current state i was using bastion and antaeus wards in combination with it no commentary for this i thought i'd just show you a nice raw live gameplay there was a guy from china in the lobby and there's also a guy from australia in the lobby bonus points to whoever can point out those players were <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button i hope you guys enjoy it and like i said get farming for this gun now don't miss out get ahead of the curve because the new meta is almost here peace
first place, go.